Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be talking about this. So it's going to be a shop talk episode. So we just got this uh, in the mail. So uh, let's take a quick look at it. And also as we're taking a look at it, uh, the reason we bought it and what we're going to do with it. So uh, long story short, this is a dual temperature unit. It's got max, min, and average settings, which is really cool. It does two probes, which I th thought was even more cool. And see here are the probe openings up here. Now, the main reason I bought this particular unit is the fact you can buy more probes for it. And I'll kind of put an overlay, I think, up there uh, to show you. Um, I haven't ordered the other probes yet uh, because I wanted to get this and see what this looked like first. And again, here's what it looks like. So here's one of the probes. Um, now, apparently, I think this will take, um, yes, yes. So, what I like about this is there are, there are different type of probes. So, there are J, K, T, E, N, and R probes. Each one of these type of thermistors have a different uh, signature or curve. And this is how the little microprocessor in here knows how to read the temperature. So... What we can do is we can use different probes with this still and do different things with it and and have it latch the temperature especially the uh, max and I'm gonna talk about that in a minute, but I want to get back I want to get back to this because I got I sidetracked myself So I want to do this and so we have we have this interesting little coupler Which is very interesting on its own. It's got uh, three screws nice plastic um also, this head that uh, what it happens is it plugs in here, or it plugs in here. So it does look like it might be. It takes a lot of force to plug in. Uh, it does look like it only plugs in one way, um, because it does look like a plus and a minus on here. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. There it looks like minus, minus, and a plus. And one looks bigger than the other. I'll hold it here so I can probably zoom in in the video. One looks bigger than the other. And so it slides in. It takes quite a bit of force. And then obviously you connect this up to whatever you want to measure. Now, the I, what I'm going to do with this, well, actually I'm going to do a lot of things with this. But one of the first things you're going to see very shortly is a video come out. How I'm going to attempt to turn this into... Uh, uh, laser power meter so uh, because one of the things the way that that a laser power meter works is it's basically a thermal pile so you have a mass you have a thermal mass uh, the laser heats it up at a certain point in a certain amount of time and that's a measurement of energy now I, I, I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to calibrate it, and I don't want to get my head of myself in that episode. But I think I can build one based upon this and utilizing one of these thermocouplers. So that's one of the ideas. The other idea is, uh, is I can use this in 3D printing to measure my head temperatures on the spot. Uh, I can do set it for min, max, and average readings of my head temperatures to see how well it's calibrated versus the controller. Um, just really a thousand and one uses for this that I can pull out and then I can measure um, two temperatures simultaneously. So the other thing I plan on doing is taking a look at measuring the input and the output uh, temperature of my laser tube as far as water goes. So your uses for this can be basically endless. Uh, however, I want to take a look and see. So. What it looks like is it takes three AA batteries. So I tell you what, let's get three AA batteries and take a quick look at this thing fires up. Wait, 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 wait. Did I just say AA batteries? Oh, I'm having a senior moment here, folks. Sorry. It's AAA batteries. Three A's, not double. So uh, sorry about that last comment. Uh, but hopefully I caught myself. So anyway, it's got three batteries here. The thing beeps, so we know it's alive in some shape, fashion, or form. The other piece that I kind of like about this is, unlike most of the Chinese stuff, um, the back fits on here nicely without a screw. Another interesting thing is it's got the measure range, again, as I was mentioning, for the different types of um, thermistors. So on the back, that's interesting. So I'm interested to see how this works. So as you see, we have the one plugged in. 
and we have a reading from it. <laughs> and it says we have a K-type plugged in. I'm not sure. We'll have to read the instructions to see how we change it from a K, if we, if we happen to have another one. Because, I, you know, the other thing I forgot to mention. Because the reason I got this too, see this right here? What I can do is I can buy another one of these couplers and change out, take off the coupler, insert a set of wires in here, and also have it so I can... I can plug in, I can adapt it to my 3D printer's thermistor, plug it in here, and whether it's JK, whatever, and, and test its calibration directly and test the calibration of the uh, unit itself to see how good and if the thermistor in the 3D printer is working. Because I've had problems with uh, thermistors and 3D printers not quite working. In other words, they haven't failed totally where they're shorted out, but they're not giving the correct temperature. Um, and and part of it is, depending if the little thermistor itself is kind of a little bit crushed or something like that. I think I'm getting this in here. I can't really see that, but uh, you kind of get the idea. So let's plug in this other one. And again, big side goes to big side, little side goes to little side, and it takes a lot of force. All right. So, they're about the same temperature, and I would hope so, because they're both in the same room. So let's see. Let's see what my temperature is in both hands. And see, so, right hand, left hand. So, interestingly enough, which one's which? Um, this was the bottom. So, right hand is a little bit warmer than my left hand. So, uh, I don't know. Is that an accurate meter reading, or is it just the health of my hands are differently? It's probably actually the circulation of my hands are slightly different, uh, because it's, you can see it's about uh, 0.4 degrees off uh, C. So, anyways, uh, we can switch to, um, we can switch to Fahrenheit, so that's pretty cool. Back to Celsius for our metric friends. Um, oh, here's how we change the type. So, we can switch through... The different types so we just go back to case so this is how you control the type so that's very cool uh, we can lock in um, so it looks like it saves one of the top ones for maximum so I'm not sure if you can read both both scales at max I'll have to read the instructions I hate reading instructions so minimum temperature setting uh, here we have average temperature setting so um, we're back to having dual, so max. I don't know why max temperature isn't reading. Um, interestingly enough, this is saying it's uh, 196.2 degrees, so that, that's interesting. Um, so we'll have to see. And I know I haven't been reading 70 degrees Fahrenheit. I think I'd be dead. Uh, so we'll have to figure out how to clear this. So obviously it's something's been held in there But anyways, it kind of reads it and you kind of get the idea. So um, Anyways, um, I'm gonna go ahead now since I got this. I think it's kind of cool I'm gonna order the other ones. They're, they're like 13 bucks for four and uh, You know shipped so I'm gonna go ahead and get those because like I say I'm going to uh, I'm gonna make a laser power meter out of one of these I'm going to take on another one and make it so I can connect and test my uh, 3D printer thermistors on it. Um, so you can do kind of quite a few things. I'm also going to make this as a setup where maybe I monitor or plug it in and monitor the water temperature of the uh, laser. I mean, this was really cheap. I think I want to say it was like around $20 US if that. might have been sub $20. So you really can't beat it for the money. I, I'm kind of hoping that I could find a USB version. Now, I've got the other one, which is a multimeter, which is USB. It only has one uh, temperature probe, though, and it only reads in full degrees, not fractional degrees, which is what I really want. I really want to have that other piece. <clears throat> so, anyways, I'll put the link below for this if you're interested in getting one. Um, so far, for the money, I think it... Uh, will be well worth it. So I'll make a lot of use out of this in different testing and things like that. Uh, again, I can test my 
hot end. I can test my bed temperature. So I can calibrate all those things. I can just kind of go calibration crazy. So anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. If you got questions about it um, that I didn't cover here, hit me up below. I'll be happy to answer them for you, especially if you're thinking about getting one. And hey, if you got any questions in general, just hit me up or something you'd like, maybe like to see on Shop Talk, um, let me know. So anyways, hey, if you found this interesting, please give me a thumbs up. It helps out the channel. And subscribe so you get the latest updates and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.